What's up, future respiratory therapists? Hey, you got me. All of you, you got me. I'll be honest with you, I love teaching pharmacology, but my least favorite part of pharmacology are the formula section. But this is your channel, and with the overwhelming response and request to do this topic, I'm gonna do it for you. So without any further ado, let's jump in to pharmacology formulas with part one, where we talk about the proportions formula. Let's dive in. All right, so as we know, during your pharmacology class, you're gonna learn three primary formulas. These formulas are important. You recognize how to use them in certain clinical situations. But the only one we're focusing on in this video is the proportions formula. So we want to, to make sure that we understand how do we operate with proportions. Here's the formula. The formula is, is that you take your known dosage divided by your known amount will equal your desired dosage divided by your desired amount. Okay, so that sounds all good. We know the formula, but how do we use the numbers? Okay, so let's look at a scenario here. You are ordered to give 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. Albuterol is available in a 2.5 milligram per 0.5 ml concentrated dose. How many milliliters should you administer? Let's go back to the formula now. Remember the formula is known dosage over known amount equals desired dosage over desired amount. Okay, let's go back to that scenario for just a second here. When we look at this scenario, take a second here and I want you to identify your known values. And what I mean by that is, is what is your known dose what is your known amount and what is your desired dosage? Or what is your given amount? Tell me what you, what you recognize. Pause this video and come back to it. I'm gonna keep going here. What we recognize here is that you are ordered to give 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. Let's just stop right there. We'll come back to that sentence in a second. What we recognize is that albuterol is available in a 2.5 milligram per 0.5 milliliter concentrated dose. You see, is available. This tells you that this 2.5 milligrams is your known dose. Your known dosage is 2.5 milligrams. And it comes in a known amount of 0.5 mLs, milliliters. That's your known amount. Okay, how much do we want to give? What's our desired amount to give? And what we recognize here is that we're ordered to give seven and a half milligrams. Perfect. Now we have three of our four variables and we just have to plug them into the right spot. So what do we go back to? Known dosage over known amount equals desired dosage over desired amount. Here we go. It looks like this. Our known dosage is 2.5 milligrams. Our known amount is 0.5 milliliters. This is going to equal our desired dose, which is 7.5 milligrams. How much do we need to give? Well, that's what we don't know. So this is X mLs. All right, so all we have to do now is just cross multiply to solve for X. So we're going to move this up. We're going to say 2.5 milligrams times x. x is what we don't know. This is going to equal 0.5 times 7.5. So we go 0.5 times 7.5 equals 3.75. Now all of our units match here, right? And so we don't have a problem. We can actually even forget about the units, but it's going to be important that we don't forget this unit right here because this is what we are being asked to figure out. So once we do this, we just say, okay, well now let's solve for X. So we're gonna divide both sides by 2.5, and this is gonna leave us with X equals 3.75 divided by 2.5 equals 1.5. Now remember, I told you to remember this milliliters right here. This is what we're solving for. 
So what we know is that the answer to this question is that we need to give 1.5 milliliters of albuterol. That will give us 7.5 milligrams. If 0.5 milliliters is 2.5 milligrams, then 1.5 milliliters will equal 7.5 milligrams. Let's look at this another way, because this question can be asked multiple different ways, okay? So let's go to another question here. You are ordered to give 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. Albuterol is available in a 2.5 milligram per 3 milliliter unit dose. So you see, all we did here is just change the way the question is formatted. How many ml should you administer? Okay, well let's look. We go back to the formula. Known dosage over known amount equals desired dosage over desired amount. Let's go back and find our variables. We see here where you were ordered to give 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. This 7.5 milligrams is our desired dosage. Okay, perfect. What, is, what, what are our available dosages? What do we know that they come in? Well, they come in 2.5 milligrams per 3 milliliters. This is, the this is the known dose. This is the known amount. So now we just have to go back and plug this information in. We know that we have 2.5 milligrams, and that comes in a unit dose in the amount of 3 milliliters, and that's going to equal what we desire. We desire 7 milligrams. We want to give 7.5 milligrams. So how many milliliters do we need to give? Well, let's see. We cross multiply, we do 7.5, 7.5 times 3 equals 22.5. That's going to equal 2.5 times x. 2.5x. Now all we have to do now, remember, is to get x by itself. So we're going to divide both of these by 2.5. That's going to leave, this is going to cross out, that's going to leave x by itself. 22.5 divided by 2.5 equals 9. So we need to give 9. x equals 9. 9 what? 9 what? Oh yeah, remember back here, we had x milliliters. This is important. We're looking for milliliters. So we need to give 9 milliliters to this patient to deliver 7.5 milligrams of albuterol to this patient. Let's look at one more just to make this make sense so you can be prepared for all the various ways this question might be thrown at you. You are ordered to give 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. Albuterol is available in a 2.5 milligram per one unit dose. How many unit doses should you administer? Now you see what we've done here. We've gone from a concentrated dose of 0.5 milliliters to a unit dose amount of 3 milliliters, and now we're just operating in a single unit dose. Well, let's figure this out. So we come back to our formula here, right? Now remember the formula. I didn't put it up here on purpose, so you remember it. It's known dose over known amount equals desired dose over desired amount. Perfect. Let's go back here and circle our units here. You are ordered to give 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. This is what we desire, 7.5 milligrams. Albuterol is available in a 2.5 milligram per one unit dose formula. That's what it's available in. This is important because you have to make sure you put that amount correctly. Okay? So now we're talking about unit doses. How many unit doses should you administer? Well, let's look at this. What's our known dose? 2.5 milligrams. And what's our known amount? One unit dose. And that's going to equal what we want to give, our desired dose, which is seven and a half milligrams. This is going to lead us to X unit doses. Cross multiply. 
1 times 7.5 equals 7.5 will equal 2.5x. Solve for x, divide both sides by 2 and a half. Divide both sides by 2 and a half. And what we get here is, is x is left. x will equal 3. What does this 3 represent? 3 unit doses. That's what we desire to give. So we need to give 3 unit doses to this patient in order to deliver 7.5 milligrams of albuterol. Let's recap here real quick. Here's the formula. Known dosage over known amount equals your desired dosage over your desired amount. Here's the keys. Your dosages will also always be in milligrams or grams. You don't, you don't, for respiratory therapy, pharmacology formulas, you don't have to really get further outside of milligrams or grams, okay? The amount is typically going to be milliliters or unit doses. So we have this figured out. You just have to ask yourself, what is my known dosage? What is my known amount? And how much dosage am I trying to give? This will be your desired dosage. You could do the same thing if I gave you a known dosage over a known amount and I said you deliver nine milliliters. How much did you deliver? Then you just put the nine milliliters down here and the X becomes your desired dosage. And then you know you'll get milligrams. And it'll be seven and a half milligrams. So there's lots of different ways this can be thrown at you. The most important part is understanding the formula and where things go. So known dosage over known amount equals desired dosage over desired amount. Cross multiply, solve for X. There you go. You're going to have three numbers to work with. That's going to be key. Remember that I said that as we get into part two and part three and part four, when we talk about the rest of these formulas, anytime you're given three numbers with no percentages, this is most likely the formula you are working with. Hey, I appreciate you watching. I do want to tell you, go check out and enroll in my Respiratory Coach Resources free course. This is free resources for you. Cheat sheets. I will put a copy of this formula cheat sheet into this classroom right here. All you have to go is the Respiratory Coach Academy uh, through Teachable and enroll in this course. Look at the, for the link down in the video description below to gather and to get access to this free course right here. That's the proportions formula. That's how you work it. Here's how you, where you can find me. I'm on all the socials, Respiratory Coach at Instagram, Respiratory Coach on TikTok, Coach RRT on Twitter, and you can always send me an email to respiratorycoach at gmail.com. And I would love it if you would join my, plat my texting platform where I send out occasional messages, informational, educational, uh, inspirational, just to further connect with this phenomenal community of respiratory therapists. Do me a favor. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to see next, and I will put it on the list, the long list of things to get out for you in this community. This is your channel, so own it. Remember, average is easy. Don't be it.